the challenges that we're seeing uh, with folks really drive the need for AI ops. So what is AI ops, right? It's, it's, it's a term that gets thrown around. It's, it's especially hot within the networking industry as of recently, the last few years. Really what it means is, hey, it's, there's big data, right? You've got, you've got lots of data being picked up from devices, from clients, you know, anything within your network that you can pick up that's data and, and you're building a big repository of that. And then you're applying machine learning algorithms to that data. And you're doing that to help increase the efficiency of the IT team. So that's all AI ops is in a very general sense. And, and, and we're doing that for the network. So, you know, what is really driving this need? Um, you know, it's, it's a couple of different themes. IT teams, first of all, um, are undergoing some changes. We've got more experienced folks than IT teams that are, you know, retiring, moving on, transitioning. And the new folks in IT teams really are more data-driven, they're digital native uh, folks, and they may not have as deep of an expertise on, let's say, switching uh, wired networks. They may not be really in-depth on, on wireless LAN and everything that comes with Wi-Fi like some of these more experienced folks uh, were. And so these IT teams are kind of changing. You've also got people working more in an agile methodology. You've got IT staff that are uh, really focusing more on, on wearing many hats. So they're not really going in depth uh, on lots of different items. We talked about the network complexity um, th that is quickly rising. But a, a third big trend is the trend of cloud technology. So the cloud has obviously been around for a long time all over the place, but within networking, we still have uh, a lot of customers and organizations that are transitioning to the cloud in different parts of their network. And, um, you know, once you do have that cloud technology, it makes it a lot easier for you to capture, corral, and manipulate data. So previous, you know, previously when you, you didn't have the cloud, you didn't really have that ability to build that large database, build that historical um, data track of what's happening within your network. But now, you know, once you, you get into the cloud, you're able to capture that huge database and then apply those machine learning algorithms and allow uh, an AI ops engine to work on that data and, and spit out results for you to help make you more efficient. So a lot of trends here driving to this um, AI ops need and, and actually making it possible today.